Japanese car giant Honda is stopping production at its plant in Swindon during April and May. It had already decided to stop work well for February and March, where the announcement comes as EU business ministers meet in Brussels to discuss measures to help European car manufacturers. Well, our business editor, Robert Peston, is with us now. Um, bad news then for, for Honda. What exactly is going on behind the scenes there? Well, it's more evidence, uh, Kate, of the crisis in the motor manufacturing industry. You say it's bad news. In some ways, I think some of the employees of Honda will regard this as you know, a lot better than it could have been. This brings to four months the shutdown of these plants. In terms of the impact on pay, it means on average 4,200 workers will be receiving about 80% on average of what they typically take home. But I suppose the silver lining is that they're not losing their jobs. Honda is saying that it has got no plans to make redundancies, and that is different from what we're seeing in other motor manufacturers. We saw several hundred job losses at Jaguar Land Rover only a few days ago, and frankly, I am expecting very significant redundancies from car makers in general in the weeks and months ahead. So can anything be done to help them with this meeting in Brussels? Look, there are two very difficult problems. One is that demand has collapsed, Companies, individuals, we're just not in a mood to make big expenditures at the moment. But there's also a credit crunch issue here. We've seen terrible results this morning from two giant US banks. Credit crunch is still hitting with a vengeance. And it's very difficult for the finance companies that provide loans for people to buy cars to get the funds that they need. Now, I think the government here will announce measures relatively soon, that should at least provide some finance to those businesses that lend to us to buy cars, and that's a little glimmer of hope for the industry. Right. Thank you very much, Robert. Thank you. Two people have gone on trial in Italy for the murder of the British...